It's the dramatic video that shows the ending of the escapee's freedom. Mark Cooper, wearing an American flag shirt on the 4th of July, puts James Myers in a full Nelson, lifts him off the ground, and slams him to the floor. I'm confident enough, I guess, in my strength that once I grab a hold of somebody like that, they're not, he's not going to get back up. Cooper had seen news reports that Myers, a sexual predator who raped a Summit County woman in 2010, had escaped from the Mansfield prison. I just pay attention to that kind of thing. 13 miles from the prison, Cooper walked into the Olivesburg General Store. Here you see him with his ice cream cone. But he also notices Myers standing at the counter asking for a phone and a phone book. I knew it was him as soon as I seen him. Ice cream scooper Greg Galloway recognized Myers too. After all, his mugshot was taped to the counter. He looked to Cooper as if to say, are you seeing what I'm seeing? The guy that tackled him, uh, the customer, he was over there and... I finally made like contact with him, and we were both on the same page. He's like, I think that's the guy, too. Cooper called 911, and moments later, the tremendous takedown. It was no match. Cooper stands at six foot four, 320 pounds. Myers, 5'11", 172. Made sure my wife and son was away from him, and I just walked back over there and threw him to the ground. Myers barely budged while Cooper pinned him to the ground, and two other customers tied him up with twine. Troopers arrived about five minutes later. I think he was actually relieved more than anything. You know, I think he was just wore out. Friends are not surprised. Cooper jumped into action. He did the American thing. So, on the 4th of July. On the 4th of July, especially. Yeah, so yeah. Many are calling Cooper a hero, but he's uncomfortable with that label and says he just acted on instinct and did the right thing. That's not what it's about. It's just, just keeping everybody safe and keeping people like him off the streets.